Hello, concert tickets. Um, so Louise Johnson just posted up her um, status quo tickets and it was from the, the Leisure Centre. And <laughs> it prompted me to remember that we went to see status quo in the Leisure Centre, uh, the Sports Centre in Newry. Um, I think that was 1990 and then that just put me down a wee road of looking at all my concert tickets which I like to keep but there's loads of them that I haven't kept. Um, but the first the first one, well I can show you the, the, the deluge of the craziness of the amount of tickets there. Um, the first one was Iron Maiden. That one was 1990 and that was the King's Hall and that was supported by Wolf Spain, which had Blaze Bailey in it. Um, it was £10.50 and then Blaze Bailey went on to sing for Iron Maiden um, and Bruce's back and I, but Bruce's sump up um, pilot, there was own pilot's license, fencing, foot cancer. Um, but yeah, that was the first one, Maiden and yeah, 24th of September 1990 and that was Harrison Music in Fountain Street, Belfast. So we actually had to come down to Belfast <laughs> and get the tickets uh, back in the day. And the tickets used to be so, so lovely. Um, there were the nice cardboard ones. That's the cool one. That's the one from the Newry Sports Centre. Um, but they used to be lovely. Now they have just got like way less exciting looking. And loads of times you can't even get a ticket now. Now we got tickets there for Heart in Manchester. And a physical ticket wasn't an option. But what they do now is they, and it's the first time I've seen it, um, they asked you, do you want a souvenir ticket? But you don't actually get the ticket until like a week after the gig. So you just have to show it on your phone. But I got it anyway because I like to keep my wee tickets. Um, but as I said, there's lo loads of them I haven't got. This one, I was looking, Shamie McCone put up the other week about the Metallica ticket. And then the, I, the, the stub's still there, although it's come off. Um, on the way into Metallica that night, um, 30th of October, 1992, in the Point Depot, there was a massive crush. And loads of people all got like crushed going in the door. And loads of people didn't even get their, their stubs taken off their tickets. So I still have the stub there, but it's just sort of come away from it a wee bit. Um, so just looking at them here. Later ones got a bit less exciting looking. There's Page and Plant. That was the Pint Theatre. What year was that? 98. Aye, so that's moved on a wee bit. The Darkness. That's kind of more like what they look like now. But the colour, you know, they used to be nicely coloured. Um... Here's one here, 99, Republic of a Dog Star. That was Kenny Reeves' band. I uh, see so that one signed by Saffron, the singer of Republica. Uh, John Martin and the Empire. That was a great gig. We actually, the next night, went up to see Page and Plant in Dublin. Death in Vegas, Def Leppard. These are all the exciting looking tickets. Guns N' Roses, the first time you used your illusion tour. It was 1992. <laughs> Mummy Coyle had a ticket for that, then couldn't go because it was our John's uh, Holy Communion, <laughs> so she couldn't go. The Cult, that was a good one. SEDC, 91. Um, King's Hall, that that was a great gig. How much was that now for the crack? Does it tell you? £13.50. Back in the day. Um, and at that, that was the one where they released all the SEDC dollars from the ceiling. And I got one and I was living in the flat in Cromwell Road at the time and I um, pinned it to, <laughs> to my bedside cabinet and I had a load of stuff on there. And then my friend uh, who was uh, staying wasn't too well. One night and I came home and loads of stuff was gone. Um, Woke up with a wee <laughs> sick bucket by her side. So it demised along with a class glass head I used to have. Uh Megadeth 91. All the all the cool tickets. Um I was and then because I like to go down the memory lane and look at all the tickets sometimes and um, to see how what band I've seen like the most. And I think it's I think it was between the Devlins and the Frames, but I think it was the Frames. Um I think they I think they had the most, but as I say, I haven't kept all the tickets, so maybe 
there's the Devlin's one there, Vicker Street. That's 2001. The last time we went to see, or tried to go and see the Devlin's, um, I think it was 2016, maybe, or 15, no, 16. And I broke my wrist and I couldn't go. Um, so it was raging. Um, Bell and Sebastian, more Devlin's. Jesus, like, you'd be, you'd be all day getting through them, like. But uh, it's just so many, many concerts and great concerts. Oh, there's, there's the answer, March 23. But I think I have an answer one there from like 2006. Um, the Prodigy, who is that? Stepper Kitten, Rubber Bandits. Oh, that was good crack. That was actually 29th of July. That was my last day in the Rusty Zip. And that was the same night um, we actually went to see Duke Special on the Rubber Band. It's Kasabian. Don't even remember going to that one. More Iron Maiden. Oh, that used, this used to be the wee, this used to be the wee envelope that the tickets used to live in. <laughs> when they came to the house. Um, and we used to write on the, on the back of the tickets. Uh, like there's the frames. 22nd of the 7th, 2000, 30th of the 4th, 01, 26th of the 4th, 01, uh, 27th of the 5th, 01. There's um, Witness Festival, David Gray, Josh Ritter, Monday, Paddy Casey, Death and Vegas, Glenn Hanser, John Martin, Seahorses, Texas, um, Kula Shaker, The Black Crows, Ocean Colour Scene, so many. Paul Weller. Black Crows. Weller was class. Seen him in the Ulster Hall. He was class. More ocean colour scene. Alanis Morissette. Well, that was the one down by the river. Mazzy Star on Monday. Sherry Crow. In the Olympia. She was class. And I actually um, met her. We all hung around the back. And uh, actually, it was lovely. She was tiny. Um, uh, that was good crack. Jethro Tull. 21st of October, 1993. So that's actually my birthday. I got to go on, on my birthday to see Jethro Tull in the Ulster Hall. That was class. More Iron Maiden. More Megadeth. Faith No More. It all kind of started off very heavy. And then I think kind of the first kind of lighter one you see coming in is Tori Amos. <laughs> oh, there's Monster. Oh, I didn't know I had that ticket. That's Monsters of Rock, Donington Park, 1992. Maiden were headlining. Um, Wasp was on. I think Slayer was on that year. And the Almighty. Ricky Ward with the Almighty. That was, that was great. That's the only Donington I've ever been to. Devlin's in the Spirit Store. Love the Spirit Store. Oh, this is, um, there's no ticket for this one, but this was the 29th of April, 2000, and this was in the Rotterdam bar, Glenn Hansard. And it says, love and love, Glenn GH. And he done me a wee, um, a wee signature there. That was good, good crack. It was in the shower. The frames, there'd be millions of frames. Gold frap, they were class. Um, Rodrigo Gabriela. Just so many good concerts. Um, <laughs> oh, that was the time we went to see the Devlins um, and the Saw Doctors in Silverbridge <laughs> Festival. I think we went up and slept in the van. Skid Row, that was a good one. Um, Aku were all good, like Bell X1, Glenn Hansard. So yeah, just, just uh, Louise's we. The reason we post there prompted me going down memory lane with all my wee tickets. Gemma Hayes, Presidents of the USA. I don't even remember that one. Fames, Hot House Flowers, 2003. We supported the Hot House Flowers one time in Katie and the Carnival. Um, supported Van Morrison too one time. That's the only time I've ever um, been to see Van Morrison, but he's very good. Oh, there's one there. I've obviously got the Hot House Flowers to sign that ticket there. I've loads of CD covers and all signed too, but sure, it's where they go over the years. Um, Mark Gary, Josh Ritter, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Was lucky enough to meet the Chili Peppers one time as well and um, won a competition. Me and Patricia went down to that one. Uh, that was that was good. Joy White Snake. Oh, 
class. Um, I can then have loads of wee ones like stuff I've performed at, you know, wee passes and stuff. Um, I'll answer one upstairs because me and Donald got to sing when they answer there on their last big um, Belfast gig. Oxygen. Um, there's another wee signed frames one. Um, so up, upcoming. Um, we went it was last year, the year before, to see Eric Martin out of Mr. Big. Uh, down the Deer's Head, I think it was. Oh, he was class. So we're, we got tickets to see Mr. Big there. Um, and tickets to see Richie Cotson. Then, as I say, we're going to see Hart in Manchester in July. And uh, tickets to see Sting and Blondie. Heading to see Paul Brady. In, I've never seen Paul Brady. Heading to see Paul Brady in um, Dublin in April. And we brought Adam's tickets, but we had to sell them because I'm actually away then that weekend. Um, oh, there's the 2006. There's the answer one there from 2006. Amy MacDonald. That's right. Oh, that was the last heart one. So that was 2016. That was um, Royal Albert Hall, London. Because they, did, they didn't come over the last time. And they didn't come over this time either. Ah, that one. This one breaks my heart now. Um, this was our Nick Cave tickets. And as you'll see, they're not scanned there because that's 2020. And then that was lockdown. And then he didn't reschedule. He, he just cancelled. Ah, so that was so I'd love to see Nick Cave. If I could see anybody, um I'd love to see Tom Waits and I'd love to see There's your wee dog giving up. I'd love to see uh Tom Waits and I'd love to see Nick Cave. Um so wait, yeah, but there's just so many concert tickets here. But I just like to pull them all out now and again and go down the wee memory lane. Oh, Eddie Better. Eddie Better and Glenn Hansard. Stiff Little Fingers, there's a good few Stiff Little Fingers ones. Bob Dylan and, and um, Neil Young. That was a good gig. Neil Young particularly was um, amazing in that gig. Supergrass. Supergrass I've seen a couple of times. The first time I went to see them, um, I won the tickets to go. Um, and they were amazing. And that was the limelight. And this one was Ulster Hall. I, I flipping love Supergrass. Oh, there's, there's the Ulster Hall one there. Um, Tori Amos. So that was when it started to get lighter. So when what what year was that? Ninety four. Arrow Smith, ninety three. Ach, that was the night Moon passed away. My friend Moon. That was. I'll never forget that one. Um, Stone Temple Pilots. That was another birthday gig. Dublin. I used to always get lucky. Um, gigs on the birthday. For some reason. Uh, Paul Weller, Ulster Hall. Who's that? Was it a buzz? Stock. So many. Oh, there was one. Um, Florence and the Machine. Now look at that ticket. The colours on that. That was um, the membership for the Milkweg. Because um, we went to see um, Florence and the Machine in Amsterdam. So that was 2009. Um, and then to go to a gig in the Milkweg, you had to become a member of the milkweg for like a year or something. But sure, it was, uh, that was amazing. That was an amazing gig. So, yeah, I just thought I would take you, um, oh, there was the Mighty Bush, the Olympia. I thought I would take you down, um, my wee, um, my wee memory lane with me. There's one there, that's wee Stendhal Festival one. And I've written on the back there, re-harvest. So that's um, the Donald Scullion put together a Neil Young um, harvest and harvest moon uh, anniversary show. And we've done a couple of nights in the Mac and we've done um, one the NCC in Newcastle. And then last year we did uh, Stent Hall with it. Um, and it was the Clarma Valley stage, the main stage. And it was opening up the show, it was 12.45 to 1.45 and the day started off really windy and it was like a Wizard of Oz and keep the everybody's music stands was all blown all over the place. Um, but, but it ended up really, really sunny and Econ ended up getting sunburnt. 
and the back of his neck was roasted and his hands were roasted off him. Um, oh, there's a wee Glasgowberry, a wee Glasgowberry artist one. No, oh, that says the year on it. Access all areas. There's another Glasgowberry artist one. There's another. The 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 like the wee lanyard that these are are uh, artist ones. Hot house flower. Gareth. Hot house flowers. Gareth Dunlop. Katie in the carnival. So that was I was in Katie in the carnival at that time. Um, and there's ocean colour scene. So I. Uh, just, just, just nice to, to go and look at all um, the wee memories and then think about all the class um, upcoming music as well. It's going to be happening. Um, yeah. Anyway, if you have any wee concert tickets there, stick them in the comments or share your memories. Um, I could just live music. It's just great, isn't it? <laughs> all right. Have a lovely weekend, folks. See you soon.